Welcome to another tutorial video from Tolomats. Make sure and subscribe for more. This is the proof to theorem nine, uh, our third theorem. In a parallelogram, opposite sides are equal and opposite angles are equal. So, so what we are given is we are given a parallelogram. And we are given the triad parallelogram, we call it A, B, C, D. A, B, C, and D. So what we are given is the parallelogram A, B, C, D. Okay, so that's what we're given. And what we want to prove is that, uh, what are we trying to prove? We're trying to prove that the length A, B is equal to the length of C, D. And we're also trying to prove that the length from B to C is equal to the length of A to D. So that's the sides dealt with. And now we want to con consider our angles and we want to look at showing that angle A is equal to the size of angle C and that the size of angle B is equal to the size of angle D. So they are the four things that we want to prove here now. We are going to label our constructions And as usual, our constructions are basically just marking on our diagram some of our angles. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw in a diagonal line from A to C. You can go from B to D if you want, but I'm going to go this way. Uh, apologies now because it looks a little rough on the screen. So we're drawing in that diagonal line. So draw diagonal line from A to C. So that's the line segment A to C. And then we're going to label all those angles interior. So we're going to call this one one. I'm going to call it two. I'm going to call it three. And I'm going to call it four. So we have our four angles. And what we're going to do now within our proof. So I'm now down to my, sorry, I still actually need to write that into my constructions. So mark in angles one, three, and four. Okay, so anything you draw, make sure you label it in your written statement as well. So our proof. So in order to do our proof, we are going to use um, our congruent triangles. So in our congruent triangles, what you're trying to do here basically is just prove that this triangle here is congruent to this triangle here. So that's what you're going to do. And in order to show things are congruent, you have to show that three things are the same. So that's what you have to go off and do now is show that three things are common to both of those triangles. So the first thing I'm going to state is that angle one is equal to angle four here um, because they are alternating with each other. So that's the first thing I'm going to state. And then I'm going to state that angle three is equal to angle two because they're alternating. So that's the first thing uh, that I'm going to write in. Okay. Just state that. So angle one is equal to angle four, reason alternating. And our alternating is that Z shape. Don't forget that. So again, geometry one is very important um, for this terminology. Angle three, we said is equal to angle two, again, because it is alternating. And we need to show a third thing. And the third thing I'm going to show is this diagonal line that we drew in. The reason why I drew this line here is because I know that it is going to be common to this triangle and this triangle. So that's the reasoning behind me drawing in that uh, diagonal AC. So I'm going to say here that the length of the line AC is equal to the length of AC in the second triangle and common sense because it is common to both triangles. So we would have done a lot of these when we were looking at our similar triangles. So there now we have proved that the triangle, so therefore the triangle, so that's the symbol I'm using for a triangle here, if I could write it, the triangle ACD, ACD is now equal in the size and shape to triangle ABC because they are congruent. And that's what we've just proved up here. 
that's the logic for doing all that work is to prove that they were congruent and it's angle side angle i'm just going to write in there so they're congruent because of angle side angle so therefore because they're congruent we can now state because they're congruent we can now say that the length from a to b is equal to the length cd so in other words if i come back up to my picture i'm saying that this length is equal to this length because they are the same side on the corresponding triangles so a b is equal to c d and i'm just going to write that i can also say that the top and bottom the a b is equal to the b d and the reason for all them is because they are corresponding sides of congruent triangles okay so that's the four sides dealt with and i can also say and also i now look at the angles um angle b is equal to angle c sorry i'm going too far away uh so angle sorry angle a is equal to angle c and angle b is equal to angle d Again, because they are um, the similar angles within those congruent triangles. So that's our proof. Um, it's all got to do with congruent triangles. Thank you for watching another tutorial video from Tullamats. Make sure and subscribe.